call themselves musical ambassadors, who represent America to the whole world. This is the U.S. Air Force Band. The military ensemble, according to its conductor, Colonel Don Schofield, has a special mission here in Ukraine. They visited an area of the Ukrainian cities to represent hope and freedom to the locals. They arrived today to Kyiv to rehearse. Music brings people together and breaks down cultural barriers. And this partnership is an example of ways that the United States and Ukraine can continue to work together and learn from each other. The U.S. Air Force's band even managed to collaborate with Ukrainian violin players. And this, according to Colonel Sheffield, clearly depicts the partnership between Ukraine and America. You know, I came to help the guys in translation as well, but sometimes they don't need my help. This moment of creation, especially in the jazz style, is a moment of improvisation. It's so universal that it's like we speak the same language without a translator. The band soloist Linda Casso started to learn this universal language in her early teens. Twenty years ago she joined the military band and immersed herself completely in jazz. And now Linda delivers her songs to the hearts of Ukrainians. Kaso has been to over 10 Ukrainian cities already. I really did love Lviv. I thought that it was uh, very beautiful there. I also really enjoyed Dnipro. It was right by the river. It was really beautiful as well. Though John doesn't sing today, he has something in common with Linda. This man is also impressed with Ukraine and he's impassioned by music. I heard the saxophone when I was a little kid and I heard a military band in the United States play and uh, I knew then that that's what I wanted to do with my life. I want to play music, but I want to do it with a purpose and a mission to bring people together. This can be reached with a mixture of cultures at the Glenn Miller Show, which will take place on the 20th of October. The band will perform a number of melodies along with the Kiev Chamber Orchestra. We will play actually two Ukrainian folk songs that we did especially for this. And it's our gift to the people of Ukraine in honor of Defenders Day. But we wanted to present Ukrainian folk songs and give them an American jazz treatment. This spectrum of jazz, ceremonial and even pop music will be performed by the U.S. Air Forces in Europe band until the 21st of October. As part of their tour around Ukraine, the orchestra aims to share culture through music. Natalia Chekotun, Dmitro Horishko for UATV.